Uh, name's Ray with Simplex Grinnell. Gonna show you a bit about the fire alarm. Uh, we are in the main electrical room on the first floor. Okay, but the panel is a 4100 ES. It does just about it. It monitors the whole fire alarm in the building. It caught it, on an alarm. It will shut down all your air handlers. It will sound all the horns and visuals everywhere. You have a pull station behind you. And we also monitor the elevator. So if you have an alarm on your elevator, yeah, it'll shut down your elevator or recall it to the individual floor that you need. Um, first off, basic, basically the way the system works is if you see a flashing light on this thing, you hit the button under it and it'll tell you what the problem is. Okay. For some reason, everybody doesn't like touching a fire alarm. They're afraid of it. You know, I don't, I have not understood that yet. Um, this one's your fire alarm. If the horns and visuals are going off and the, and the building's making noise, you hit alarm silence, that will shut up the horns. The, store, the strobes will stay flashing. Okay. If it, if it goes off, first thing everybody needs to do is get the heck out of the building. Fire, the fire department likes to see this thing making noise and everybody out of the building. If they need somebody, they will call somebody in to come in here and handle the panel if they can't handle it. Okay. So you need to shut up the panel, make it so you can talk in here. First thing you do is hit alarm silence. That shuts the noise up. Strobes stay flashing. If you want to see it, we can hit a pull station right there and we can, I can show you how that works. Next thing you do is that red light will be flashing right here underneath, right above that. You hit the button and it will tell you across here what it is, where it is, and the address of it. Okay, and that when this thing starts making noise, all, you, all the events are being transmitted to monitoring. So if you have an alarm, monitoring's been notified, fire department's on the way. Okay, when uh, you want to clear all the strobes from working, you want to put it back to normal, hit system reset. That'll, after about 45 seconds to a minute, the strobes stop flashing and your panel's back to normal. And your air handlers will turn on. Okay, if you have an alarm at a duct detector, it's not going to cause an alarm. It will give you a supervisory and it will shut down that air handler only. Everything else stays up and operational. And once you clear the, once the alarm is cleared on that duct detector, you hit system reset again and that'll get that, that'll reset the alarm, the supervisory alarm, and get the air handler back up and running again. Supervisory also also tells you about your water flows, water flows and tampers. So the valves that shut off the water. If somebody closes a valve, you'll get a supervisory alarm. If, so, if you have water flowing, you're going to get a fire alarm with all the bells and whistles going. So that means you have water flowing somewhere in the building if it comes across telling you water flow. If you have a ground fault or an open circuit on a wire or a bad AV or something, then you're going to get a trouble. Okay, when the, trouble, when the trouble comes on, you don't need to hit alarm silence because that's not going to do nothing for you. And you're not going to, system reset's not going to do nothing for you. Okay, hit the trouble, hit the button underneath the flashing yellow light on a trouble, that'll shut the panels up. And it will tell you what the problem is, then you get somebody out here to fix it. Okay, because no matter how many times you hit alarm silence and system reset, it won't do nothing to clear the alarm. You got to hit the trouble to acknowledge the panel beeping. And, it, and it, if it's a ground fault and it's intermittent, it will come in and out all the time until the ground is fixed. And um, these are bypasses on the side. So if you want to, if you want to do some stuff in the building, bypass the panel so it doesn't you know, if somebody's working on the system so it doesn't make noise or anything, then you can use the, uh, the bypasses on the side. You can bypass the audibles, you can bypass the visuals, elevator, and any of the control points. Control points is like your air handlers and stuff like that. Do you guys, does anybody know how to log in to a level three? Okay, you want to try it? It's easier because I can show you all day long on it and everybody seems to run, forget how to make it work. First thing you do, 
System is normal right now. First thing you're going to do to log in to level three, you have to be at level three to do anything. Okay? What, what does level three mean? You're logging into the panel at level three to give you access to do things inside the panel. Gotcha. Okay? First thing you're going to do is hit menu. First thing comes up is change access level. Okay? Then you hit enter. Right now you're at level one. So you're going to log in, so you'll hit number one. Now you enter in a passcode. It's three number threes. Three, 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 enter. Your access granted. You are now level three. Okay? Hit exit. And if you want to bypass, one, two, three, four. Everything is now bypassed. If you have an alarm on the smoke, you won't get the air handlers, won't work. The elevator is bypassed, so you, if you hit an elevator, a smoke in front of the elevator, it won't do anything. The horns, the horns won't work, and the visuals won't stroke. Okay? But if you do an alarm with this on, you need to make sure you put your monitoring on test. Because if you don't put your monitoring on test, and even though this is bypassed, monitoring is still receiving everything, and they will dispatch a fire, the fire department if they get an alarm. Okay, and did you, you don't have to call them first to tell them that you're? You should call them first before you do anything, before any kind of controlling anything. of the panels. Okay. 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 And then, when after a while, after 15 minutes, this baby will log back out. It will go back to a level one. Okay. Okay. So if you want to turn these back off, you have to log back in level three. Okay. Menu, enter, one, three, 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 enter. Get your granite and you just hit the buttons again. Now we're back in again. Okay. All right. These are toggle on off buttons. Okay. Okay. These are these are little lights that we have on here. If this light is on, the panel piezo, the uh, the noisemaker on this panel, is shut up. Okay. You can we can we can get it to where we can shut up this panel so it doesn't beep. This one is for the remote enunciator up there in the stairwell is if the enunciators shut up. Everything still works the same, it's just it's not going to beep. Okay. This one here is if it picks up a ground fault anywhere in the system. This light will pop on. Okay. All right? I got you. Okay. Let's say, now I'm gonna, just going to bring up a point. That's a pull station. First floor main electrical 115 pull station. That's the pull station behind you. Okay, let's say your, your the fire department didn't find anything wrong, pull station false alarm, and it's broken. It's, it's stuck in, right now it's reading normal. Okay. When it's in alarm and you have the red light on, it will say fire alarm. You verify that that baby is closed, okay, just normal, okay. And, it, and the panel won't reset. You log in level three. You hit the button to look at that, and then you hit disable. Okay. okay. Enter. It'll give you. It'll lock any trouble, telling you that that pull station is disabled. Okay. okay. Now you can alarm silence, system reset, to get the panel back to normal. So everything else will work. Everything else except for that station. pull station. Okay. okay. And then if we get it fixed then you just re-enable it and get it back online again with a new pulse station. Because sometimes you have an alarm like a smoke or something floating around that you can't clear. Disable it and we can go on from there. And you just do the same thing again. You look at the trouble and hit enable, hit enter, and it will count down. Now, see where it says enable on here? Uh -huh. If it says enable, it will enable, like usual, okay? If it says an alarm, because it will say, if you, if you have a, something else wrong with it, okay. if it says an alarm, it's gonna go back into alarm the moment you re-enable it. Okay. Okay, so you wanna make yeah, sure you hit disable again. Right. To keep it disabled so it won't cause an alarm. That's about it. Okay. You can do, you can, except for the major controlling functions here, like, like the logging in and the enabling and disabling of stuff, 
you can only do that here because this is the main panel. That's just an enunciator up there. So all you can you can do the normal controls from here in the stairwell. In the stairwell. Okay. No. But you can't you can't control individual points. You can't do this up, up there. there. Okay. You have to be here to do all those all those functionalities. Okay. okay. Upstairs by the elevators, you have call boxes. First floor. This is the other enunciator. The other enunciator is what this one is. Okay. This is for this second floor call box. This is the third floor call box. And you use this phone to talk. When they hit the button up there, it will. This here will start beeping at you. Okay. Okay. You hit the button to make it steady, and make sure you press this button on the side of the phone. Okay. So you can talk to whoever's up there. Okay. And if you want to make an all call, that's this baby. All, you don't want to use it. This will give you the all speakers evac. In the whole building. In the whole field. But just, just like you're going to, it, it sets all the speakers into evac mode. You'll hear the, the evacuation tone going across all the speakers. Okay. Okay. If you want to talk to everybody, on through the whole building. Okay? okay? Hit that. You key it. You wait till that is green. Test, test, one, two, three. That tells you you're ready to talk after the dinging. When you're done making your announcement, you can turn it off. You want to do the all speaker evac? That's all it does. Turn it off. Turn it off. This is only a test. Please disregard. Thank you. The difference between this panel and the one in the enunciator, or the one in the stairwell, is you will see it has a key lock on the front of it. Okay? The buttons do not work up there until you shove in a key. You gotta have the, uh, just like a regular pull station key, it's the same one that resets the pull stations. You gotta unlock it to do an alarm silencer or system reset. You can do, you can acknowledge troubles up there, but you cannot alarm silence and you cannot reset from there unless you have a key and you got to turn the key. You got to turn it on. Best thing to do is come in here. Best thing to do is come in here. You don't need the key. Leave that alone. Leave that alone. Unless you got to have it and you can't get to here. That's why that's over there. Okay. All right. All right. Now to, to do a test fire alarm, uh, which we have to do periodically during the month or year. Uh, notify notify the monitoring monitoring system. Okay, and then pull the pull station. Pull the pull station right there. Right, or here, or anywhere. Uh, they come in here, silence them, silence the uh, panel, mm -hmm. and alarm silence, right. and then system reset. Reset after after you fix. After you reset, reset the, pull the pull station. Okay, can you activate it without pulling the pull station? It's not programmed to do it, but yes. The easiest, the easiest by far, because if, if I make it a button, you're going to have to log in. Okay. The easiest by far is just doing the pull station. Pull just pull, pull station. a pull station, boom, you're off and running. Okay. Every year, you guys spark up the heaters in the air conditioning. The duct detectors come up as a supervisory. They will not be transmitted. They'll be transmitted to monitoring, but monitoring does not, does not send fire department on a supervisory. Only on the alarms. That's why the duct detectors are programmed as supervisories. Do right. they call? Do they call? They will them? call you. They every, everything happens here. They will call you guys. Regardless if it's an alarm, they're calling the fire department first, then you. Yeah, if it's anything them. else, they're calling you. Okay. Okay. So when the when you get the air handlers all nice and warmed up and everything and everything's clear, yeah, you should be able to just hit reset and it clears. And the duct detectors are on output and return. 
So, uh, supply and return, yes. Okay, so the only one that will really sound off would be the supply one. Mm -hmm. Okay. 